I saw the reports earlier this week, and I wanted to wait until they were more widely reported, more widely discussed, and we got more details. Well, we're at that point in time now that we've gotten just that. So, I have to ask the fundamental question, WWE, what in the hell are you doing with Dolph Ziggler? Where do I even begin? Oh, always a great place to begin. <laughs> Fuck Dolph Ziggler! Oh, this dude that's been whining and crying and had his panties in a bunch for the longest damn time about his position in the company. Pissing and moaning about how he doesn't get the opportunity. How he just goes out there and does his thing and WWE doesn't care about him. He decides to exercise his leverage and stick it to the WWE by staying and getting paid. And for that, I salute you, Dolph Ziggler. All these freaking knuckleheads that are going to talk about how much the Young Bucks and Omega and dumb dick Cody Rhodes make wrestling for New Japan and ROH and all this other crap. They're headlining and main eventing big shows around the world. And here's Dolph Ziggler working curtain jerker matches, sitting there and being a glorified job guy, getting paid $1.5 million a year to do so. We have now gotten to a point in time where a glorified jobber is making a million and a half bones a damn year. I can't hate on Dolph for that. Are you fucking insane? The whole thing about, oh, caring about your career trajectory and having better opportunities. You dumb dicks. Ding dong, dumb dicks. $1.5 million is a lot of fucking money. And to sit there and get it to be mediocre, which Dolph Ziggler always has been and always continue to be. He fooled and conned this company into giving him way damn more than he ever freaking earned or deserved to be their job guy to the stars. How could I possibly hate on Dolph Ziggler for that? If you were in that position and you didn't do it, then you're a fucking retard. Oh, I'm going to go wrestle here. I might make 300, 400K. Or I could stay here where I've been for over a decade. I'm comfortable. And make a million and a half dollars a year and have absolutely no pressure on me. Hmm, I wonder what freaking choice I'm going to make. Now that said, I don't ever want to hear Dolph Ziggler bitch about his position again. I don't want to hear any of his fans bitch about his position again. Talk about how he's being pushed or not being pushed or this about his character or that about his character. Because clearly it doesn't matter. And in the grand scheme of things, if they're going to pay you a million and a half dollars to be mediocre, why the fuck would you care? Professional pride, my ass. If Vince McMahon, Hunter, and the powers that be in WWE don't have the professional pride to put out a consistently better product than what they do, then why the hell should the talent have any more pride in what they do? Seriously. <laughs> Fuck Dolph Ziggler, and in this case, it's not because he's a suspect ass. It's not because he's overrated as bricks and tits by so many of you fucks. It's not because of this. It's not because of that. It's the fact that, hell, I wish I could have a job where they paid me a million and a half to be mediocre as shit. But WWE, what the hell are you doing? I don't know about you people. But I would rather see a million and a half dollars a year go into pyro for entrances, pyro at shows, maybe a few of the bigger shows actually having sets that aren't just glorified versions of the Raw SmackDown set. You idiots, because you wanted to keep Dolph Ziggler under wraps, because you wanted to keep him there, because you wanted to send some type of backwards ass freaking message that nobody gets and nobody understands. You would rather pay Dolph Ziggler a million and a half dollars a year to go out there, be lame, and not really help anybody get the fuck over. Who signs off on this shit? Who thinks this is a good idea? And who decides that this is the best use of your financial resources? You cut talent, cut pyro, in part to resign Dolph fucking Ziggler! Are you insane?! Are you goddamn
goddamn crazy? And not only did you re-sign him, you gave this complacent, mediocre piece of crap a million and a half dollars a year to do so! And I'm not fooled. You'll initially push him as a justification for the insane money that you paid him. Only to know that you'll go right back in a couple of months to doing the same crap with him you've done for the past decade. Dumb, 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 stupid ass, dumb, WWE, you're idiots!